All right, happy Monday. Uh, I just dropped off Tilda and she's doing great. Uh, no tears today. And I am heading back home to start work for the day. Um, I've got to work this week and next week and then I'm off between Christmas and New Year's. So it means these next two weeks are gonna be pretty busy. But um, yeah, good weekend. I didn't get as much knitting done as I wanted to, unfortunately. I did get through the name on the second cuff of the stocking, um, and I started the red part, so I got through the, actually the whole cuff um, by the time I went to bed last night. But yeah, still, you know, I've still got three stockings to do in total, and I've only got less than one done, so. <laughs> so I gotta get cracking on those. And I haven't been putting my squares in with my advent calendar every day um which so that's surprising there's a lot to do and apparently it takes me an hour and 20 minutes to put in a square so that's uh you know i don't necessarily have an hour and 20 minutes to devote on top of knitting that i need to do so i mean it's fine they'll get in there eventually and i am working on it um i think i'm working on day eight still um but you know making progress so anyway i'm gonna head back get some work done and uh, check in later. So I am having a work on the couch kind of day. Um, that's one of the perks of working from home. My computer goes with me wherever I want to go. Um, someday I will take take more advantage and like go work at a Starbucks or something, but my day always seems too busy to manage to do something like that. Um, it did years ago, but <laughs> not so much at the moment. So anyway, so I'm working on the couch. Um, I'm actually, I'm waiting for something to run before I take my lunch break. Um, so once that'll finish up, then, uh, I'll grab something to eat. Um, I'd like to possibly hang up the outside lights, um, since we haven't gotten around to it yet since, uh, Greg picked them up the other day. So I think I'll do that on my lunch break, um, and do some more work on the stockings. So that's where I'm heading this way. Um, so far today though, uh, it's been a pretty good day. Um, after I dropped off Tilda, um, I, you know, hopped into work. Um, I took a short break to wind up my advent calendar uh, for today, and I also filled a new fountain pen. Um, I don't think I've talked about that level of nerdiness in myself yet, but um, I do enjoy fountain pens, and I had one that I hadn't filled yet. Um, and I just ordered some syringes that makes them easier to fill from ink samples, because um, those are really small vials. So I, uh, I decided to open up one of those syringes and, and fill up this pen. Um, because I like when I have things I need to remember, usually writing them down is, is the way that I, that I remember them. So even, not even just to refer to it later, but to just the act of writing it down, getting it out of my brain and through my fingers. Um, that helps me remember it. So yeah, so I like to use fancy pens to do that. <laughs> so yeah, good day so far. Um, and hopefully we'll have a, a good afternoon to go with it. 
You guys, I am so excited for this. This is a custom button that I ordered from purebuttons.com. My little sister designed it for me. For when I go to fiber festivals. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is evening hours. I am heading off to pick up the kids. Um, Greg has to work late again. It's not the norm for him to be working this much, but they're uh, implementing a new system at work. Um, so they've got bugs to figure out and work through. So hopefully they'll uh, get all that sorted out and back on an even keel eventually. Um, so I'm picking up the kids. Um, I have to do some more work when I get back to so we'll probably just grab dinner on the road, something easy. Um, but before I left, I was chatting with my little sister. And uh, you'll have seen the giant button <laughs> that I got. Um, I asked her to design that for me. And I just ordered it online uh, from a custom button place. And um, she's also going to be designing some sort of a logo for me. Um, so she was telling me about an idea that she had uh, just before I left. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what she came up with. Um, I am terrible about promoting my own podcast. I, I just don't tend to bring it up <laughs> very often. I feel weird bringing it up um, for some reason. I don't know. So, so I wanted to try and like come up with business cards or something that I can hand out to people in appropriate situations, like going to Vogue Knitting Live or um, you know, Fiber Festivals, things like that. So, um, so getting a logo will be a step toward that. Um, and maybe someday I'll make an enamel pin, at least for myself. Maybe I'll make others too, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that would be fun. Um, so anyway, so she was showing me that before I left and that, that was pretty exciting. So yeah, so I'm just gonna, uh, pick up the kids, get back to work and, uh, we'll see, hopefully not work too much longer and, uh, get some more knitting in. By the way, how's that visor lighting? Fancy, huh? I don't think I've shown this yet. I got a um, leather ruler bracelet. This is from Flying Fibers. It's their exclusive um, purple color. Um, and I'm about to pop it off to measure my cuff on my um, stocking. So I have misplaced my tripod and I can't figure out where it is. So, <laughs> so I can't take this off one-handed and hold the uh the camera so let's see where we're at so this is the cuff um there's the color work i am yeah this is for my cousin's husband his name is adam so that is the name and then i am working on the red portion underneath the cuff and i am at let's see what do we got I don't know, I can't read it, it's too dark. But <laughs> I have a little ways to go probably. And then I'll start doing decreases for the leg. All right, I'm at three inches. So got an inch and a half to go before I can decrease. Isn't that so nice? <laughs> 